Hey y'all, good Saturday. Actually, it's still morning time. Good Saturday morning. It is beautiful here in Jacksonville. It is gorgeous. We got up very early this morning and went to Publix, okay? Now, I still, this is a small haul. I still have to do a haul at Sam's, okay? Because a lot of what I need is not on this table, y'all. And this table is not even full. This uh, these groceries on this table cost me just about $300. Yes, $300. Now, granted, I did focus in on my meat, okay, because that's where I like to buy my meat from. Uh, the majority of my meat I get from Publix. My cooking meat that I use in my vegetables, I'll go to the meat store, okay? Um, so let me just show you really quick what we got. Okay, we're going to start with the meat. I got some hot Italian sausages. I also got to go with that if I make some, some kind of spaghetti sauce or what have you. I got a double pack of ground chuck. Okay, now we'll get two meals out of this. We'll split this and put it in the freezer. This ground chuck was $17.39, y'all. That's what I said, $17.39. Yes, I also got a chicken, a whole chicken, and they don't even call it a roasting chicken. I don't know what it is, if it's a roaster or if it's a fryer, but I tell you what, it was $15.43 for a chicken, y'all, for a chicken. Yes, I got, um, let's see. I got, did I show you the tenders? I got a small package of tenders, almost $7, okay? I only got one. I got two packs here of the lamb shoulder chops. I like to use this in my lamb stew. I will be making lamb stew real soon. One package was $8.69, and the other package, y'all, was $9.54. So what, we got 20 bucks here? Yes. Yes, it's it's madness out there, y'all. It's madness. I got three packs of the beef shanks, okay? And they don't even look as thick or as nice as they normally do. But I got three of them, and I'm going to have to add some kind of beef to them to make it a full meal for us to at least get two meals out of it. Um, I got a, uh, or let me show you my pork roast. Y'all, I love pork roast, y'all. I buy them all the time. This one here is a boneless uh, Boston butt, okay? It's boneless, and what's good about that is that this is all meat because there's no bone in it. This was $14.37, and I would say that's high because it, it, it really is, but last week I bought one half the size, and it cost more than that. Okay, I bought a little treat for myself. I like hard salami, so I got me a bag of that. I can snack on with, with some crackers. Okay, I also bought uh, two packages of thin pork chops. Okay, we like the thin if we're gonna fry. So I got two of those. Uh, I guess they weren't priced too bad. One is just about six bucks. This one is 6.52. Okay, I also got two packages of country style ribs. This one was eight, and this one was 580. Okay, but this one here is a little bit smaller. All right, I think that's all the meat that I bought. Okay, I got some vine tomatoes. I'm cooking a little meal tomorrow. That, that will include these. These are beautiful too. I got those. Did I, did I show y'all my grapes? I got a bag of grapes. The white seedless grapes. Um, I got a small package of shaved Parmesan cheese. I use that a lot. I got a package here of sandwich meat. Okay, it's just ham, Oscar Mayer ham. This was seven bucks, y'all. Yes, it was. In fact, it was seven and change. Okay, I did pick up just one of the Hormel uh, garlic potatoes. Now they come in a lot of brands and all you do is throw these in the microwave for a few minutes and they are excellent and they're good to have during the week when you need a quick meal. Okay, so I, I just got one of those, just one. Okay, I also got some yellow rice. I don't normally buy it 
when, when I do it last a long time in the house because we like white rice. But I'm making a certain kind of meal tomorrow. So I wanted some yellow rice and I need to look because I may have some already in the pantry. I bought some blue cheese salad dressing. I like Marie's. OK, I don't like the, the dressings on, on the shelves in the store. I bought a uh, 16 ounce of sour cream. I bought a small bottle of chocolate milk for my baby girl. She likes that. I bought a small buttermilk. Okay. Oh, and the other piece of meat that I bought that I didn't show you is a piece of corned beef brisket. Okay. Now I just cook one of these. So I'm going to take this and put it in the freezer. I like to keep one in the freezer. This piece of brisket was $31. Now it's a little bit bigger than the one I cooked. The one I cooked was 20 bucks. This is 31. Okay. Yes. It's expensive out there, y'all. I bought some fresh thyme, of course. I cook with a lot of thyme. I bought some scallions, some, some green onions. I bought uh, some fresh parsley. I'm going to use that in my meal tomorrow. I bought a head of uh, celery. And none of it looked, looked good. It was all cut up, all of them. So I picked out the best one I could. I bought a bag of dry black beans. I'm going to cook those very soon. I got two containers of icing. I got one chocolate and I got one cream cheese. I like to keep these in the house. So when I want to bake a quick cake for us in the house and I don't want to make uh, icing from scratch, I can always grab those. I got three of these little noodle um, bowls for the kids. They put those in the microwave, heat them up. They love them. Okay. Uh, let's come around here. McCormick had their seasonings on sale, y'all, at Publix. Buy one, get one. So this was, I think, $2.87. And so I could get two. It was buy one, get one free. I also, with McCormick, because I like McCormick, I bought a paprika. I got two of them, okay, because I, I, I need to keep a lot of paprika. This is not the smoked. It's the regular paprika. I also got a ground cinnamon, and I got a, a ground cumin, okay? I said that backwards, but that's okay. I grabbed a better than bouillon roasted chicken base. There was only a couple of these, okay? Around the holidays, it's going to be slim pickings for, for your bullion. So you need to stock up on them now. I, I buy a little bit here and there um, just accumulating my items that I'm going to need for the holidays. I bought two, two rutabagas, okay? We like those. I bought one red onion. I bought two boxes of large macaroni, uh, large elbows. That's for the holidays. I bought, I think it's six or seven apples in here. I think it's six honey crisp apples. I'm going to peel these, cook them down, and put them in the freezer for later. I bought a large head of garlic. I keep a lot of garlic, y'all, because I use a lot of it. I also got one bag of all-purpose flour. Now, I stock up on this, okay? I only bought one because I was in Publix, but I'm, when, I, when I go to Sam's, I'm going to buy a lot more because holidays are coming, and I'm going to be doing a lot of baking, okay? A lot of baking. I think the only thing that I have left here, oh, yeah, I did get one can of pumpkin, okay? I might make one pumpkin pie. And my baby girl picked up some cupcakes. All right, y'all? That's it. That's $300 worth of groceries. That's what $300 will get you in Publix, okay? But like I said, I'm going to go to Sam's. I got a lot more to get. Don't know if I'm going to do it this afternoon or next Saturday, but I will um, to get a lot more important things, okay? Yes. It's rough out there, y'all. It's rough. The prices are just through the roof. Okay? So, that's my little chair there. I sit in with my towels. Okay, I'm sorry. Thank y'all for joining me for this quick haul.
Remember, this is a Publix haul. When I do that Sam's haul, I will be back with it. Hopefully, I will have a lot more for the holidays. Now, we went out. We drove out of our area this morning to another Publix. Because um, sometimes you just get better products, right? And we were actually looking for a capon for Thanksgiving. That's what we like to cook on, on the holidays. We couldn't find one. So we're going to have to hunt for that, okay? But again, thank you. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you have not. And I will be back real soon with another video. Bye-bye.